If you have a small area, like a small bathroom or a front foyer to a, a stone entrance to, to a building, any small area that, that doesn't need a full-size automatic scrubber, this might be the perfect choice for you. Hi, today we're gonna to talk about um, upright automatic floor scrubbers. These three machines may look like an upright vacuum cleaner, but they're actually an automatic floor scrubber. Um, these machines have a tank assembly, and you have a clean water tank and a dirty water tank on this machine right here. And underneath the machine, you have squeegee blades and a brush. So the machine is going to put down clear water, it's going to scrub the floor, it's going to vacuum the floor dry in one pass. A couple of features on this machine which are um, I think very valuable is you have on the controls you have two water settings, all right? You have a one drip or a two drips. Two drips is more water, one drip is less water. Um, there's a very ergonomic, neat way to store the cord. A lot of times cord electric machines don't have a great place to store the cord. This is terrific, all right? In addition, if you look down on this side of the machine here, we have a, a lever. When I put this lever, what it does is it picks up the squeegee blades, all right? So if I put it down, the squeegee blades are on the floor, but sometimes you might want to double scrub the floor. In that case, you would just pick up the bristle, pick up the squeegees, and scrub the floor. Another nice feature about this machine is it's extremely easy to take the brush out, to clean the brush, or to change the brush. So this is a pretty basic machine. Uh, it does a fantastic job. It's at a great price. All right. So if I step over to this Clark machine, the Clark machine it might look look just about identical, but it's actually quite different. All right. When you come up to um, the controls, you still have a two water and a one water. So that's pretty similar. When I put the machine down this way, I still have that same control. On squeegee blade, on squeegees coming in and out. I also have very easy to change the brush. But this machine is the deluxe model. And what the deluxe model comes with, it comes actually with um, a hose. So if I just change this right here, now it's sucking water through this hose. So if you have a small flood or you're cleaning the floor and you need to get the edges, this tool is very, very useful. All right. In addition to this, when you buy this deluxe model, and by the way, the deluxe model is also available in the advanced model, but um, in addition, what you can also get is a blue brush and some flat suction heads that can go on carpet. So this machine can actually do some light spotting on carpets or in the winter time or after a rainstorm when you have a mat that's soaking wet by a front door. This is the perfect machine to take out there to clean that up. This will clean um, and suck water off of carpets. Most automatic scrubbers can't go on carpets. The third machine I'm gonna show you is um, a Tasky machine called the Swingo 150. And this has some very similar features. Um, have a master switch to turn it on and off. And then up under the handle, right where my finger's pointing, is where you turn on the vacuum motor and turn on the water. There's only one water setting on this machine. And as you're running the machine, you can see that those switches are right at your thumb tip. So that's a very handy feature. The other feature for this machine is that it has an adjustable height on the machine. The other two machines don't. These machines just float on the floor. This one you have to adjust the height based on um, the texture of the floor. And if you have too much pressure on this machine, 
this red light will come on and indicate to you um, that that needs that you need to reduce the pressure.